you guys want to know how to play so much better at console games like Call of Duty, GTA, any other games that you guys play on console, you guys can go ahead and get a pair of Fig Grips down there in the description. My, the link is down there, FigGrips.store. Go to the Fig Grips website and get your pair, self a pair of Fig Grips by, and use my code HYPE15 for 15% off of your entire purchase over there. Anyway, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dan Hype. Come back to you guys with a brand new video and I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day so far. In today's video, I'm not going to be putting like any screenshots, I'm not going to be putting anything up on screen. I just want to kind of sit here and just talk real quick. I just want to kind of talk about upcoming Black Ops 4. There's going to be Battle Royale in the game. And there is also right now Fortnite that is in the, in the whole world. That Everybody plays it. Everybody plays Fortnite. If you don't know what Fortnite is, you must be living under a rock. But on screen, you guys will see me. I'm playing the, the playground mode that just came out. I'm just messing around. I'm not even trying to do anything crazy. I barely, like, I'm going to tell you guys straight up. I barely like play Fortnite a lot like my building is still not that good you guys will see in the gameplay but getting off topic pretty much what I'm here to talk about is kind of like things that Treyarch needs to put in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 the battle royale mode that is going to save Call of Duty because this is pretty much their last chance once they put out Advanced Warfare people were kind of thinking what the fuck is this then Black Ops 3 came out and they kind of saved it a little bit like it's Black Ops 3 was a really good game it kind of like brought everyone back the people who were kind of like leaving and then once Infinite Warfare came out it, it kind of like everybody kind of stopped playing that and everybody just kind of went off and did their own thing zombies people kind of like they played zombies but they were like they didn't really want to play the Infinite Warfare people kind of focused on the Black Ops 3 game now people kind of still folk, like upload Black Ops 3 videos. I still upload Black Ops 3 videos. It's kind of like hard to find things to upload because now people just kind of go with what's hot, and that is Fortnite. So things that I think that Treyarch needs to put into Black Ops 4 Battle Royale mode Blackout is things that pretty much people find cool, things that are exciting, things that Fortnite has been putting into the game has been skins. Now my opinion on skins is they're cool but I think they're expensive like some of these skins are like $20 just for the skin and some of these skins that people are kind of obsessing over are the OG skins now the skins that came out back at the beginning like the Skull Trooper the Gold Trooper the Red Knight Black Knight that stuff those are the skins that if you actually were playing the ga this game back when it came out then you would have that skin if you were not playing it then then you do not deserve that skin that is a skin for them but I think it's kind of dumb that they brought the skins back but that's kind of how it works Fortnite they want to make their fans happy they want to make the people who play their game and pay for these this stuff happy so that's why they brought it back now things that BF4 needs to have is they said that they were going to be doing skins like with the old characters from all past games whether it was Black Ops 1 Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 so that means they're going to be doing characters like Dempsey and Nikolai characters that are from last stuff they're going to be doing characters from all the older style maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. All those like other maps that you guys could think about. They're going to bring all those characters back. They'll probably bring characters from BO3 multiplayer, BO2 multiplayer, stuff like that. They'll be bringing cool things in. That's how I think they'll probably kind of make the game be alive. The way it's going to work is like the map. The map is the number one, the key thing. We see what's been happening with Fortnite. People have been kind of interested in that kind of stuff. Season 1. When I first started, because I started playing the game when it was season one, I kind of, that's when I first found out about this game. It was pretty cool. I liked the map then. Season two, that's whenever I kind of like I looked at the map and I was like, okay, they're going somewhere with this game. And the map, like, it looked a little bit cooler until season three came out, and I was like, okay, they're really adding a lot of stuff. So where are they going with this? And that's kind of what BO4 needs to do with their map and with their game. They need to pretty much make the map to where it's like. We see at one point, and then I don't think they need to do seasons like Fortnite does, but they need to do something that kind of like it's similar to that. The next thing I think they need to do is guns wise, they need to just stick to the guns that they've like used in the past games, whether it was BO1, BO2, or BO3. They need to stick to those guns, stick to their the game that they pretty much grew, and just kind of stick to that because if they go off and try to like create something completely brand new, I think they're going to kind of ruin it. Most player, yes you can create something the campaign is no longer in the game so they don't have to worry about that zombies I love the way they're going with zombies but blackout if they do not get this right and they do not make blackout something that is actually cool and exciting 
I'm sorry, but Call of Duty is dead. Call of Duty is done. The game is dead. It's just as simple as that. But I just kind of want to sit down and talk to you guys about like the things that I think they kind of need that's going to actually keep this game alive. And if they want Fortnite to take over, then all they got to do is just fuck up the game. If they do not want to be known as a disgrace to the community and want Fortnite to actually take over, then they do not want Fortnite to take over and they want to actually stay in the race with them. They need to make this game something exciting. They need to actually do something with their upcoming game that people are actually going to enjoy. People are going to be looking at it and saying, wow, I actually want to play the game. I already have the game pre-ordered. I already have the digital deluxe version pre-ordered on the PlayStation. I'm ready for the game to come out. I'm excited for it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm actually recording this beforehand, so just to let you guys know, I'm kind of sorry for like not uploading the past few days. I'm actually going on a trip up for my graduation party. As you guys know, I graduated from high school. Woohoo. And I'm going up for my graduation party. So I'm uploading these videos all beforehand. And I'm going to have all this stuff done so that like I have videos while I'm gone. Because I'm not going to be missing like two straight weeks of uploads. I The first week, that's because I was like, I'm getting stuff done. I'm packing. And I'm actually getting these videos made for you guys. And then as I'm up there, I'm going to be getting you guys videos uploaded for you guys. Since I'm going to be busy just hanging out with family and doing all that kind of stuff. So remember if you guys did go into enjoy this video, go ahead, drop a like. And also if you guys are new around here, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. And also go ahead and hit the notification bell. And make sure it's set to all notifications. Some people forget to do that. It'll go ahead and notify you guys every single time I post a new video to this channel. You guys will not regret doing so. I have little Call of Duty videos, GTA 5 videos. Sometimes Rocket League, sometimes Fortnite. It all depends. I cannot wait for BO4 to come out because that is the game I'm going to be grinding on. You see the way people grind on Fortnite? I'm going to be grinding the same exact way on some Black Ops 4 I'm not sure if I'm going to do Zombies multiplayer or the Blackout Battle Royale mode. Most likely I'll start out with the Battle Royale mode since that's kind of like the hot thing that everybody plays. But we'll see. Remember if you guys have any video ideas for me to post this channel, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Remember if you guys want to go ahead check out my sponsors there down in the description. You guys can go check those out. It's Fig Grips, which are really good control grips that you guys can put on your controller, whether it's a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller. You guys can use my code HYPE15. At the figures website for 15% off of time purchase over there. And it's figures.store. That's the website link. And also, if you guys want to go ahead and check out Jerky XP, really good beef jerky is jerkyxp.com. And go ahead and use my code HYPE5 for 5% off of your entire purchase at their website. Remember, if you guys want to go and follow me on any of my social medias, they are down in the description as well. But without further ado, guys, it's been your boy Dean Hype. Catch you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace!